What's up guys, welcome back to the PCC. I'm Sona Gasparian. If you are new here, I'm the founder of Persona Cosmetics. So today I'm so excited to finally be sharing our next product launch, which we've been just anxiously waiting for and so have you. So I'm about to reveal what it is, all the colors, all the swatches, all of the info. So are you ready for this? Are you ready? Introducing season one of Liquid Matte Lipsticks. These are just, oh, my babies. I've worked so hard for these and I just cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Right now, right here, I'm about to show you guys swatches, give you all the info you need to know so you're prepared when it launches July 24th. So all of the information will be in the description box. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is the packaging, which I'm just obsessed with. It's so cute, playful, girly, but still edgy a little bit. So it's just like the perfect combination of everything that Persona is. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about the formula first, and then we'll get into swatches, price, and all of that fun stuff. So the struggle for me has always been to find a liquid matte that is comfortable to wear. I love the way a matte liquid lipstick looks like, but I don't love the feeling of it. So for me, that was always a struggle, but I wasn't sure if I was like alone in the game. So I asked you guys on our Facebook group, and I was like, what are some of your lip struggles and boy were you guys sort of agreeing with me loving the way liquid mattes look but not loving the way it feels so that's when I was like you know what this is something that is missing and I need to fix it and I need to figure out what we can do to come up with a liquid mat that's comfortable to wear that's when I went to a few different labs the first one didn't quite work out because they couldn't deliver with what I exactly envisioned so we switched labs which is why it took a little bit longer and I found a lab that was able to deliver. So what I was looking for is nourishing ingredients like shea butter, avocado oil, things that will make a mat feel comfortable. And I'm just so happy that we finally landed on a formula that I'm so happy with. And it just feels so comfortable. It looks beautiful. As you can see, it looks completely matte, but we are calling these soft matte just because they're not the traditional, um, you know, sort of dry matte look and formula, it's a very, very different sort of comfortable feeling. So when you first apply these, they're gonna feel very much like a classic traditional lipstick. They've got tons of movement, so if you wanna put your lips together, rub them together, you can totally do that. And then once they dry, they sort of stay put. I wanna also talk about the applicator because this was another thing that took me a while to decide on. So for me, when I pick a product, I wanna be able to get a generous amount so that I can do one sort of swipe and be done with it and not go back and forth and build it up. So I wanted that to be sort of the main benefit of it, but I also wanted the tip to be precise enough so that I can line my lips and not worry about having a lip liner to go with my liquid matte. And we went to different manufacturers, tested out so many different wands to land on this, and I am so happy with, with the results. I mean, when you put it on, you'll know. The thing with me and our brand is that we wanna make sure that our components are very travel friendly, so we give you guys a compact sort of um, packaging, but we still try to give you as much product as we possibly can. It's the same with the Identity Palette, same with the Cali Glow Collection, so which I'm just obsessed with compact packaging. Of course, these are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and made in the USA. So these retail for $16, and the net weight is 6 ml. If you do decide to buy all three colors, you do get a discount. We are providing a 25% discount, so you'll get it for $36 if you purchase all three together. So you can find Find them on personacosmetics.co, which is our own website. We provide free shipping. Our shipping is really fast, two to three business days if you're in the US. So definitely you know, take advantage of that. In August, you'll find this on Alta's website as well. So stay tuned for that. That's all the info I have for you. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them. And now let's get into swatches. I'm gonna start the swatches from light to dark and I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites, just the classic nude for me nudes are perfect when it doesn't have too much of a pink undertone first I like to apply a straight line down just like that and then distribute the color it's so lightweight and watery it just feels really really good and once you put it on you can put your lips together like a classic lipstick so this is one application to me I feel like this looks perfect looks comfortable feels comfortable it doesn't feel like you need any more layers, but if you were to do one more, it will get just a tad bit darker. So we're just gonna go ahead and do one more layer. 
And then what's cool about the wand is that you can actually line your lips with the tip. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So this is two layers. As you can see, it looks beautiful. It looks matte. It didn't take too long for it to, you know, turn matte, but it's still so comfortable. Like I can actually put my lips together and like move my lips without feeling like it's cracking and drying. And what I love about it the most is that, as you can see, my teeth don't look yellow. A lot of nudes tend to do that because if it's too much of a peachy nude, it'll definitely make your teeth look a little yellow. And then when it's pinky nude, it's just not really a nude, you know? So this is just like my favorite and the most perfect classic nude. On to swatching the pink shade, which is called Flamingo. I, I love this because it's like a mauve pink. Again, makes your teeth white. I guess that was like a thing when I was choosing colors. It's like, I don't want my teeth to look yellow in any of these colors. So anyway, um, this is what the color looks like in the tube. And then we're gonna go ahead and swatch it. So this is Flamingo. As you can see, it's more of a medium mauve pink. So it's not too light and it's not too dark. For me, this is like the most flattering pink and it matches so many different skin tones. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and swatch Holy Grail, which is my favorite red of all time. I've been wearing this on my Instagram, like seriously, all the time. And everyone's like, what lip color is that? And I've been ignoring those comments because I just couldn't share it yet. Let's go ahead and swatch this. Oh, this is like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. And like, it's so watery. It literally feels like you're putting on a lipstick. That's what it feels like. And then it just quickly dries, you know? Especially with the red, I recommend using the tip. Utilize it because that's exactly why I chose this specific tip, um, is to make sure that you can line your lips. A little tip when you're using red colors is to tilt your head down because when you tilt it down, you can see if one side is uneven and that's when you can go ahead and fix it. And then with reds, I always like to grab a little bit of my foundation or concealer and go ahead and clean anything that might not look perfect. And I especially love this color for summer because I feel like in the summertime when you don't feel like wearing too much makeup, all you have to do is put on a bronzer, a highlighter, a mascara, and then put on a red lip. And all of a sudden you look like you've put a lot of thought and effort into your makeup. It looks beautiful. So I love this in the summertime and I've just been rocking it so much, like for months now. So that's it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see how you guys rock these colors. Make sure to tag us at Persona Cosmetics so we can also regram you. We love seeing all of your content on Instagram. Seriously, you guys do some amazing photography. We love, love regramming all of your stuff. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.